Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a quick morning stretching routine for yogis, cyclists, runners or for busy people, for active people, etc. Before we begin, I would like to thank our sponsor, Health IQ. This is a life insurance for healthy people, life insurance for cyclists, runners, yogis, vegans, vegetarians. As a healthy person, I've always known that we healthy people overpay for life insurance because we have lower rates of disease and higher life expectancies, yes. We pay the same rates that most people pay. It's a life insurance agency that works with over 30 providers to get you the best rate they, they can get you. They put five years into the research and they've proven that runners have 45% less um, cancer, or diabetes, and the numbers are all on the website. So if you go to healthiq.com forward slash yoga interval training you can see if you can save on your life insurance there is a free code there after you take the test and information on their service and let's begin we begin at the front of the mat roll the shoulders back and down extend the tailbone down which will in turn open your hips slightly pull the belly in and up lifting the belly button up and engaging the core. Chin parallel to the floor, lengthening through the crown of the head. Nice deep inhalation through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Feel your feet sinking into the ground. Inhale, lifting, lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, getting grounded. From here, we're gonna sit back in chair pose. Tucking the tailbone under, look down and make sure that you can see your toes. That means that your hips are pressing back, knees back. Hands in prayer. Roll the shoulders back and drop them down so that there is openness in the chest here. In chair, your core is engaged. This is a core exercise, not just the lower body. Shift your weight onto your right leg. Take your left leg back into high lunge, reaching over the head. Arching slightly. Let's take the left hand to the floor, right arm up, twist here. Try not to rest onto your hand. Try to use your legs here. Open the chest, drop the shoulders down. Let's reach over the head, pressing the right hip back and reaching. Gorgeous. Both hands down, plank. Pull the belly in and up. Extending the tailbone down. Lower down onto your belly. Inhale, cobra, rolling the shoulders back and down. Exhale, down dog. Spread the fingers wide open, feet are hip width apart, lifting to the tailbone. Okay, Sophie, and let's walk to the front of the mat, bend the knees, chair. Say hi to Sophie, everyone. <laughs> Hands in prayer, shifting the weight onto your left leg, step it back, high lunge on the left side, reaching over the head. Arch. Opening the chest. Great. Right hand down. Left arm up. Twist. Pressing the left hip back. Let's extend the left arm and over the head. Turn the palm of your hand down. Gorgeous. Both hands down. Plank really strong plank. I want you to feel your core here. Your strength begins with your core. Upper and lower body strength begins with the core. Digestive power, how you breathe, everything is dependent on your core. How you walk, how you run, how you lift weights. 
gorgeous. So from here we're going to lower down in Chaturanga, elbows by the rib cage, shoulders forward, the elbows remain over the wrists. Mm -hmm. Pull the belly in, very good. Now roll up into upward facing dog, hips are off the floor, off the floor, pressing the toes down. Good, back to down dog. Inhale the right leg up and let's step the right foot between the hands. Drop the back knee down. Walk the back knee a little further back. Hands over the right knee. Look up stretching the hip flexor. Everybody needs to stretch the hip flexor. A couple of times a week at least. Especially if you're sitting, driving, running, walking. The hip flexors shorten. Very good. From here, lifting the back knee off the floor, turn towards the side, the, long, the length of your mat, and bend the right knee here, stretching the inner thigh on the left side. Should feel good. Great plank. Strong core. Shall we do one more chaturanga? I want you to be strong. <laughs> good. Upper dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Step it through. Drop the back knee down and walk it back towards the back of the mat. Hands over the left knee. Roll the shoulders back and down and feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of birds here today. <laughs> Great. From here, coming up, turning towards the long side of the mat, bending the left knee, stretching the inner thigh on the right side. From here, we're going to bring the hands on the hips and come up to standing. Look down and make sure that the outer edges of your feet are parallel to each other. And we're going to look up and lower down, forward bend. Let's bring the hands onto the right leg, grab the right calf, chest over the right leg, stretching here, opposite side. One more time to the right. And to the left. And back to center. Right hand underneath the right shoulder. Take the left hand up. Twist here and lengthen through the crown of the head. Beautiful opposite side. Great. From here, we're going to walk to the front of the mat flank. No matter how stretchy your class is, we want to always strengthen the core. Great. Walk to the front, feet about well, hip width apart, toes pointing out, and come into a squat as far down as you can squat. Try to bring your heels on the floor. If they are not on the floor, that's okay. So stay on your toes and just slowly let the ankles stretch. Now, if your heels on the floor, you can bring your hands in prayer and use your elbows to open the knees, which is opening the inner thighs and releasing the lower back, opening the hips. Maybe come back to this pose a couple of times during your day, especially if you have lower back pain. Great. Hands on the floor, straighten the legs and bring your feet together, forward bend, stretching the hamstrings. Now, for stretching the hamstrings, you can bring your hands in a fist and just tap, 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 the muscles. Inhale, coming with a straight back, all the way up to standing. And here, we're going to shift the weight onto the left leg. Grab your right ankle and extend the tailbone down knee pointed down 
stretching the quadriceps. Great, opposite side. Left ankle, extending the tailbone down. the back all right more stretches feet are parallel to each other press press the elbows down toes pointing directly ahead and come up bridge pose lifting here extending the tailbone towards the knees chest is working its way towards the chin Great, from here we're going to extend the left leg down, right knee to chest and twist. So we're going to bring the knee across from the body, keep the right shoulder down on the ground and let your right knee come as far down as possible without forcing it. It can be somewhere here or all the way across if you have been working a little bit and twist. I do have quite a few twisting classes, so if you're interested in that, check them out. They're on my channel. All right, let's change sides. Left knee in and twist. And we'll finish up with happy baby, why not? wanna start the day off on a positive happy note so grab the other edges of your feet and bend your knees by your rib cage and tap into the happiness that you experienced as a baby i have a baby and uh, especially when she was very very young she would do this pose when she's totally satisfied and happy so that's where the post comes from the post name happy baby Great, soles of the feet together. Lower the legs down and lay here for two breaths. Hands underneath the knees, bring the knees together. Right ankle over the left knee. Here we're going to bring the left knee in, right ankle in, pressing the right knee away from us for a hip opener. Changing sides, same thing, flex your feet and you can help with your elbow to press that left knee away from you. yourself just half a minute or a minute or so to just lay and allow your mind to be empty so that you can prepare for the day and start the day from a nice calm place laying here for just a few moments staying empty allowing the body to be completely relaxed. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.